at CIA, it is mandatory as a student to go home and destroy your parents' kitchen. Which he did. In an effort to show off what you do not know. Which he did. What you've seen done a thousand times. Um, that is mandatory and every student has done that to their parents. I am no different. What a mess. What a mess. What a mess in my kitchen. Oh my God, oh it was my destroyed. God. I had to walk away from the kitchen and then I see a fire <laughs> happening. <laughs> And I'm like, oh my God, my kitchen's on fire, <laughs> right? That kitchen's never been used so much in its whole oh, life. Oh, my floor was so greasy. Oh my God, <laughs> right? And there was no crew that came in and cleaned the kitchen. There was no kitchen no, crew No, I that did came the cleaning. Out. No, you did it all. I remember those days. Yeah, good old days. Hello. Hello. Uh, Hello. Mario Carbone and this is my mother Maria Carbone and we are here to make my mom's favorite dish at Carbone which is chicken Massimo chicken Massimo who is chicken Massimo named after you have no idea right I have no idea good answer chicken Massimo is named after a very good friend of mine named Massimo Bottura he's a perfectly eccentric Italian man oh. he makes this balsamic vinegar called Villa Matadore um, it's an amazing product. I've been using it for years and years and years. He owns one of the great restaurants in the whole world, in Modena, where this balsamic is made. And so this dish came about because I wanted to use these, these ingredients, and I know that you um, like a lot of these ingredients, and this is the dish you get nine times out of 10 when you're here. Yes. Uh, it's been on the menu for probably about a year, and it's been very successful. Although Massimo has never come to eat it. <laughs> Massi, please, come. Invite him. I've invited him. He's an eccentric Italian man. We gotta oh, tell you. Okay. He comes for fancy food shows, but he doesn't want to eat my Italian food. Oh, that's not nice. Masi. Delicious. Come. It's out of my mom. That's. <laughs> come, Massimo, that's, that's, please. Come on. So for this dish, the the base of the plate is uh, artichoke and onion soubise. Soubise is a French word and technique, which means slowly cooked with no color. Oh, okay. So that's what we're gonna do. Okay. We're gonna slice our artichokes. Mm -hmm. You can make this later on tonight for dad. Okay, sounds good. What is the likelihood of that happening? I think maybe I'll just bring this one home. How's that? Good answer. <laughs> take this one home. I'll take it home. Okay, so the other, the other side of this is the chicken. Here we have uh, very nice Bell and Evans chicken. It's a two and a half pound chicken. And then what I do is I marinate this in homemade Italian salad dressing. Okay. That's my this. salad dressing? You don't really make salad dressing. Well, I do in a way. In a way. Yeah. But does it taste like my salad dressing? It but does. For it to be your salad dressing, you would have to actually make salad dressing. But you got and the I idea think right from now, me. I think right now you might be lying to America. No. Okay, I use the Seven Seas package. Thank you. Thank but you. But I ladies. add balsamic vinegar. It is. And a, everyone loves it. Take this recipe down. Yeah. One packet Seven Seas. Yeah. Olive oil. Olive oil. Not canola. And um, vinegar. Balsamic. Balsamic. And water. And you put it in your little metal thing. You shake it up. And I bet up. it tastes just like this. Good chance it tastes just like this that I, I've had eight chefs working on all morning. What makes your salad dressing different than mine? Um, this is legitimately homemade. Okay. So we start with uh, dried oregano, which is happening here. We, oh. dry, we dry oregano every day here. Okay. Dried oregano, chili flake, garlic puree. Mm -hmm. So it's garlic cloves cooked slow, made into a puree, champagne vinegar, red wine vinegar, blended oil, not olive oil. That really is homemade? Yeah. Yeah. But I think they're going to use your recipe. <laughs> Seven C's. Seven C's. <laughs> After the chicken marinades, we take it one step further in a fancy level. 
and we cryovac it and cook it sous vide. This is what it looks like. This is a now par cooked, to be seared order of chicken Massimo. And this is how Massimo makes his chicken? I've never asked Massimo how he makes his chicken. Oh. Okay. I just went ahead and named this after him. Oh, that was nice. I thought so too. Now, why don't you use chicken cutlets? I like chicken cutlets. It's not why? fancy enough for this restaurant. No? Well, no. People want to see the whole chicken here. No kidding. Yeah. It's pretty expensive. Chicken cutlets are expensive also. I love chicken cutlets. Yeah, I do too. We have a whole restaurant devoted to that. That's it's called Palm. That's right. Have you been? <laughs> a few times. Wonderful. I like Moving it. on. <laughs> At this point, it's a pretty simple, pretty simple recipe. Uh, the artichokes get butter. Uh-huh. Obviously, we would be making a much larger batch than this. pan here. Sear our chicken. Do you ever consider maybe grilling the chicken? Uh, there are customers that ask for it grilled. Oh yeah? It happens. Really? For those a little more health conscious. Oh. And do you do it for them? We will. Oh, you do? Okay. Carbone's a yes restaurant. Whatever, whatever you want. Really? I thought the chefs don't like that. Uh, my other chef, Rich, is not a fan of that. Oh, really? At all. Um, he's a big no guy. And he actually says no? All the time. Oh. Um, really? I'm more of the yes man in this, in this operation. But don't customers get mad? They're um, paying, you know, I mean, they're paying customers. Maybe they, they would like... They are, and if you'd like to have that conversation with Rich, I would love to be there for it. Oh, okay. So the onions and the artichoke just cook for almost two hours so everything is super soft. The chicken we just want to get nice color on. Okay, we're gonna finish this dish, Mom. Yes. This is a, a balsamic glaze that uh -huh. we made using that balsamic vinegar. Uh -huh. So balsamic vinegar, chicken stock, a little bit of sugar, reduced down. And what was that also that you added? The arrow? Ar Aromatics. What is that? That is a fancy word for herbs and garlic. Oh, okay. Parmesan cheese. Why Parmesan cheese? Is this not as strong as Romano cheese? Um, not really. Oh, because that's what dad likes? No. No? But, but, but an acceptable answer, but no. You want to tell me why? Yes. Balsamic vinegar and Parmesan cheese are made in the same place. They're, they're very closely tied to each other as ingredients. Oh. Prosciutto, balsamic vinegar, and Parmesan cheese are related to each other. Oh, okay. By the government. Really? To make sure that they taste of that area. So oh, these are two very important ingredients to Parma. I'll remember that. That's as close to the Molto Mario show as we're going to get here. Wow, that smells really good. Thank you. So here is our onions and artichokes that we cooked. Uh -huh. We finish it with just a little bit of fresh arugula. Just kind of stir it through. And then you take the good stuff, the expensive stuff, You finish the plate. That's beautiful. Thank you. Beautiful. You can make this later tonight for dad. Chicken Massimo. Come and Massimo. visit us. Massimo, where Amazing. are you? chicken Massimo. Why is it called Massimo chicken? Well, that's uh, Mario's very good friend. His name is Massimo, and he's hoping that one day he will come and try it. 
Really? Yes, I hope so too. I, I love would this. Like shit. to meet him. Yeah, so would I. It's a great chicken dish. It is delicious. Mm. Mm. Sit down, have some with me. I think I'm eating this Saturday night. We have reservations here. Yeah, I know. I remember. <laughs> <laughs> so, I'll be enjoying that. I'm enjoying it now. Good.